What's up everyone? Me again. Sound might be a bit uh, echoey, but you know, I'm in a new place. Fucking neighbors. Anyway, Eventway Guides. This week, or well, week, it's a bit of a weird one because this one runs from May 16th to May 25th, which is very odd because it's from a Tuesday until Thursday. Doesn't really make any sense, not sure what they're doing with the event weeks, but hopefully it means more Red Dead Redemption 2 news. We don't know. As far as double cash in RP, uh, if you are not done yet making money, um, you probably are after the heist thing, because that was just something that was completely mental. Unfortunately, I wasn't really able to make any use of it because I was busy moving house. Yeah, I know, perfect timing. But apart from that, this week is a Rockstar created stunt races and special vehicle races double cash in RP. I still find it a shame how they don't do it for like, you know, play created stuff. I, I just wish they did, you know, it. I don't really see why they wouldn't want to promote other things that are created because they do it on their Twitter channels as well. But apparently not in game, which is a shame because that would definitely promote more people playing other things as well. But there's probably a lot of things in there which are mainly guided towards making money in RP. So that might be the case. I don't know. Still a shame. Also double cash and RP in Resurrection and Juggernaut. Well, Juggernaut is just a gigantic spawn trap. Resurrection is a fantastic game mode. So if you haven't played that yet or still want to have some motivation to play that again, definitely check out Resurrection. It's a great twist on LTS. You know, it's definitely a lot of fun to play. Of course, also 25% of the Russian, don't get that. GP1, don't get that. Turismo Classic, get that. And Infernus Classic, get that if you can't afford the Turismo Classic. The, the Turismo and the Infernus Classic are two pretty well-balanced vehicles. If you want to have the absolute best in class, then obviously the Turismo Classic is for you. Uh, Infernus Classic is a nice car as well, and of course it's the Infernus Classic, so why would you not want to have it, really? And if you have bought one of these new vehicles, there's also 25% off transmission upgrades, brakes, exhaust, spoilers, engine upgrades, and turbo upgrades, which of course is very profitable for you if you need to upgrade any of your vehicles or whatever. And then there's also 25% off all Cunning Stunts clothing. So they're doing another Cunning Stunts themed event week again. Um, yeah, hopefully we're not going to go back into this misery pit of double cash in, you know, stunt races and juggernaut, but I guess we can't really complain after all the money opportunities we've had in the past few weeks. I don't know if I was directly responsible, but I think I was one of the people that had the outcry like, can we please have something else? So I want to give a huge props to Rockstar for those last few weeks. It's been a, it's been a good run. So now we can go back to playing stunt races for double cash, which is always a good thing. As always, like I say, there's 75,000 at maximum to make. Play it for eight minutes if you want to have the maximum amount of money to made. Obviously, the best way to go about, you know, earning as much money as possible is to host your own lobby. Uh, ways to do this is to set your matchmaking to closed and then just pick a random race and you should be fine and just set it to non-contact if you don't want anyone ramming your stuff. Stunt races in general, uh, the Nero Custom is a very good vehicle if you're looking for a good all-round supercar to use. X80 Pro though is probably the best one to use. It's expensive though and it's just gonna probably give you like a second or two more. It's it's, it has a great acceleration, but a best all-around car for supers would definitely be the Nero Custom if you are still looking for that for you know stunt races or whatever. T20, if you still have one, is also good for stunt races. And if you have any other suggestions and tips and tricks, obviously leave them down in the comment section to put them down below. I'm sure a lot of people are dying to hear them. Uh, stunt races are, you know, fun. It's just a shame how it's only Rockstar created. Um, hopefully there are going to be more rotation of the older ones because I kind of prefer them over the newer ones, mainly because they're more racing like i guess you could say rather than just really focused on stunts which is you know if i'm playing a race and when it comes to double cash in rp i kind of want to have more like a race 
rather than you know 90% airtime but that's just my personal preference sunraces are of course extremely popular meaning that there is going to be a lot of lower ranks so definitely worth giving a shot as well and then last but not least is of course supreme races and time trials from May 16th to 22nd is the loop for the rocket Voltec and the time trial is down Chilat. that one's a bit difficult so uh, definitely uh, Good luck with that one if you uh, want to try and complete that successfully. And then for May 23rd to May 29th is the Rune of 2000 Unlocked Race Steeple Chase. And the time trial is Del Piero Pier, which is a pretty easy one. So if you want to make a quick easy 50k, then you know time trials are always good for that. You know, just a quick easy 50k just takes a minute or two. And especially with all these new fast vehicles. It, they were extremely easy to do, like because they were made back in September 2015. Are you there? Yeah, 2015. So since then, there has a lot of vehicles come out that are a lot faster than back then, and the time trial times have not changed yet. So if you don't really play those time trials, Try to do them sometime. They're actually a good way to make a quick buck. And then as far as that goes is the event week guide. I want to quickly touch on my personal situation at the moment. As you can hear, it's a bit echoey here. Uh, probably because not everything is in my room yet. A lot of stuff is still in boxes. But as far as YouTube and Twitch goes, I am back. Obviously, things might still be a bit bumpy. I'm trying to minimize that as much as I can. Uh, but especially now, since I have my own place, there's a lot of stuff, you know, obviously that comes into that. Um, Twitter, as always, is the best place to keep in touch with any potential changes or anything like that. But I'm going to do my utmost best to obviously stay as active as I used to be and just, you know, go back to how you're used to. Um, videos should be up as always on uh, Monday and uh, Wednesday and Friday if you know I try to do it that way I don't I don't really keep a schedule too much but I try to strive for that streams will be back on Tuesday and Thursday on 7 p.m. UK time as always so definitely give that a shot sometime the Twitch has been pretty successful lately as well I became a Twitch affiliate which is very cool I'm gonna have my own sub button soon and if you're not someone that really watches Twitch Try it out sometime. There's some very cool streamers on there. Brother streams on there. Xerxes and some other cool things. There's also this redneck guy with a funny hat, which he never wants to put on. I don't know. He has a sugar fetish or something. I don't know. Leave him be. You know, a few people who watch me probably knows who I'm talking about. I love you, Nas. But uh, apart from that, you know, there'll be links in the description for all the things that I mentioned. And yeah. I hope to see you there sometime at Twitch. If you're watching this relatively close to the uploading time, I'll be streaming and kind of catching up on the custom job showcase, which I missed out on Friday because I was busy moving. So definitely come out and check that out as well. And yeah, the video for that will be up tomorrow on Wednesday. And yeah, then we should be catched up with everything that has happened since I was gone. And we'll go back to normal. Enough of me rambling. Thank you all so very much for watching and I'll see you all later.